When you're travelling by car, you're insulated from the outside world. You feel detached from the environment that you're moving around in. You're pampered by heating and protected from the elements by glass and metal. And for me, it's always been a rather tedious experience. And I think that's why, even from a young age, I've loved motorbikes. When you're travelling through the environment, you're part of the landscape. You can feel the wind on your face or the sun on your back. You can still hear some of the sounds and you somehow feel that you're connected to the land that you're travelling over. And you're getting a more complete experience from your journey. And I think camping is in some ways a very similar thing. And in many ways, bikes and camping are the perfect partnership. But the problem is, as always, how do you get all the gear that you need onto the back of a bike? Now, when I had the GSs, you never had a problem accommodating all your gear. Bonneville, on the other hand, wasn't built with this kind of use in mind. And as I proved with the review that I did a few weeks ago, the panniers that I bought with the bike are next to useless. And looking forward to what this summer has in store, I had to find a really cheap solution to my problem of how to get camping gear from my home to my chosen destination. Now that solution had to be fully waterproof. It also had to be big enough to take clothing, all my bulky camping equipment and all my camera equipment. Yet at the same time it had to be small enough to fit onto the pillion seat of the bike so that it could be strapped down. This was a tall order because in essence what I needed was something that was bigger on the inside than it was on the outside. Which reminds me of my favourite TV series when I was a kid. Okay, so it's not a TARDIS. This is Lomo's idea of what a proper dry bag should be. This is their 60 litre hold all type dry bag. They also do a 40 litre version. And you can get it in black like this one or a high visibility yellow. Now there was nothing wrong with the quality of the previous Lomo dry bags that I've tried in the past, but this one seems to have stepped up to another level. The end panels are the usual PVC that you used to see them with their bags, but the rest of the bag seems to be made up with a much thicker, more durable material which to me resembles some sort of cordura. As you would expect, the seams are all radio frequency welding, so you can be sure that this is going to be watertight. In fact, I have experienced with this one that it can be a little bit difficult to fasten up because it traps air inside and it's difficult to expel. The handles are stitched in place and the cord that makes up the handle stretches all the way around the circumference of the bag for added strength and durability. As well as the usual roll top fastening with the side press latches at either side, it also has two compression straps which wrap over the closure, giving the contents of the bag additional security and stability. And this bag also comes with a shoulder strap. Now this is not a motorcycle specific dry bag and there are no tie down loops provided but it is still eminently suited to motorcycle travel. If you are new to motorbike camping you can beg, steal or borrow the actual camping equipment from friends and family but when it comes down to motorcycle luggage it's probably one of the biggest expenses you're going to have to face often running into hundreds or even thousands of pounds. Now the last time I bought a bag of this approximate size and quality from a well-known German manufacturer, it cost me nearly 110 pounds. I would stick my neck out and say that this bag is possibly slightly better quality than that. Yet this bag is only 27 pounds 98 pence, including VAT direct from Lomo. So if you're new to bike camping and you don't want to blow the budget in case you don't like it, this is the way to go. And you're always going to find other uses for it down the road. Now my mattress is too big to go in most bags, so what I tend to do is just strap this onto the bike separately, either on top of the bag or on the rack. And I will say that you're going to need some good quality straps for strapping this down on your bike to make sure it doesn't move around. I tend to favour rock straps, but you might have your own favourite manufacturer that you prefer. Now I have to admit, after I'd edited this following sequence, even to me it looked as though there was some sort of camera trickery going on and that you couldn't possibly fit everything that I put on this table inside this bag. But I assure you, it is 100% accurate and everything that was put on the table in front of that bag came out of that bag and the bag fastened. 
Now, I don't intend to go through a blow-by-blow -blow account of every piece of camping equipment that I have. I think that should be saved for another video if people are interested in it. But I will add that I have an oversized sleeping bag because I don't like being restricted. My tent is a three-man tent. I had all my cooking equipment there, a camcorder, three action cameras, and all the associated batteries and paraphernalia that go with them and my camcorder, a tripod, enough clothing for a weekend and a Trekology camping chair and camping table. These are both along the same lines as the Helinox and I will do a review on them at a later date. Now there was still a small amount of space uh, for any additional items that you might want to put in there. The only thing that springs to mind is possibly some food supplies, although I tend to buy those locally once I reach my destination. Now all bikes are different, but strapping it to your bike is easy as soon as you've discovered where your main lash down points are. You might need to adjust the preload on your suspension a little bit to take up the extra weight, but I can't tell any difference in the way the bike handles when it's mounted like this. Another good point is the fact that it doesn't stick out any further at the sides than the Triumph panniers do, so you're not going to be conscious of, of the extra width. But under 30 quid, this bag is ridiculous value, and I think the quality is absolutely spot on. I'll leave a link for the product page on Lomo's website in the video description if you want to have a look at it. And if you've got any further questions, just leave a comment in the comments section and I will get back to you and try to answer you as best as I can. Now, the camping season is almost upon us. It's only a few weeks away. And my idea during the summer months is to do a few trips with a narrative or commentary pointing out some of the areas of interest that I like to visit and maybe doing some reviews of biker friendly campsites. Now I'm thinking this is going to be mainly centred around the Yorkshire Dales with maybe a couple of trips or, or at least one trip in the Lake District. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Is this the sort of thing that you want to watch? Again, please leave a comment. I'd love to know the kind of things that you want me to cover in future videos. Now I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.